morning guys it's a bit chilly willy today it's freezing oh, Jesus Christ it is cold and these guys sitting down nice and low keeping out of where I reckon <laughs> This should be at about 7 degrees, I think. 7.5 outside, minus 0.5. So it's not that bad, really. Right then. I got my bottom drain air on. For those that um, are eagle eyed, that might have spotted it. And that's because we're chuffing air pump packed in. Austin air pump, er, Austin air pump, um, Charles Austin air pump, less than a year old. I mean, it's fucked, but it's broke. Um, yeah, it's broke. Um, I reckon I've knackered um, the compressor in it because barely kicking out that and I think it's my fault really um, I've had it on bottom drain but to control um, the amount of air that I've been getting through bottom drain I've been using um, one of these isolating valves lever valves try and control it rather than just buying a very one of them very speed things so I've knackered it up um, so I'm gonna have to take that one on the chin and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy a new one but then that one there that evolution aqua one that's bomb proof that's been outside in all weathers it must be well I don't know eight nine ten year old that thing and it's just I don't know, just keeps on going, never stops. I want to say thank you, a couple of thank yous. What I forgot to mention on my last video. Thank you, Mr. Phil G, the man. And also thank you to another Phil, Sir Philip Telford Phil. Thank you very much, boys. Much appreciated. I haven't ordered any more mugs myself yet. Um, but we'll be doing soon so once I get another batch in then um, I'll let you guys know and whoever has not got any, whoever haven't got one then you can get in touch with me um, and I'll get one sent over to you if you want one if not I don't <laughs> um, quick update about us solar guys um, date's been confirmed for the 22nd of Feb I can't remember whether I mentioned it last time or not. But we confirmed for 22nd of Feb, so all's good on that front. Um, and I don't really know if I've got anything else to share with you guys at the minute. I'm doing Dave's growing show, um, Eden Dave. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a hell of a drive down there, but. Um, should be worth it. Meet some people. Have some nice snap. Go through some fish. Yeah, should be a good day. Looking forward to it. Today I'm just gonna do a bit of a water change. Um, not not a massive one, just a small one, uh, ten percent or something like that. Um, I, I don't do too many water changes throughout winter um, just enough to keep water refreshed and things like that um, I only really start doing more water changes um, as I start feeding more um, not really much need for it throughout winter to be honest with you um, bottom drainer flush that will be getting done um, and all else that needs doing really 
So, um, I'm going to start getting this waste pipe out now and get it connected onto the system, ready to drain it down. And um, yeah, I'll crack on with that. Just on with me, watch changing, guys. Got my pipe going in. I'm draining my drum and that down now, so I'm going to give me drain a flush and see what we get come out, if anything. I might just have to put you guys down in a minute. While we do this. Got quite a bit of crap through drain. Well, flushing a good few times. Just let that drain down now, guys. Got quite a bit through that, surprised me. I thought it'd be a bit cleaner than that, to be honest with you guys. Right, that's drain flush, guys. Um, I've just got it, just got pond draining down a bit now. Uh, just let some water out. It's down up. So, we'll let that drain. Um, like I say, 10% water change, something like that. Um, and then, yeah, we get it filling back up again. Right, that's the pond empty now, guys. Um, just got it filling back up. So, shall wait for it to fill back up. And get it turned back on. Now I'm going to chuck some sodium thiosulfate in there with it just to neutralize chlorine as it meets it. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for a bit, I think. Um, it's just a matter of waiting for that to fill back up now till I can do all else. Um, what else were I going to say? I want to mention some else. Oh, I've. Remember last time back I mentioned about possibly investing in one of those um, Blue Lab Guardians. I ordered one last night, um, ordered it from Finch Filtration, so I'm waiting on that coming. That should be coming probably, I'd say, um, probably by Wednesday, I'd have thought. It says one to two days, so um, depending on what's happening with post, I'd say probably by Wednesday it should be here. Um, not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet, maybe on this um, maybe on this back wall where I've got everything else mounted just on there maybe um, we'll have to see I don't know and um, figure that out when we get to that point so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna mix some more sodium thiosulfate up now get it in pond let it fill up I'm gonna wrap this hose up um, before it goes solid with code and watch a bit of UFC from last night I think right, I think pond's just about full now guys it's not far off anyway I'm just gonna have to make sure it's not um, going down overflowing shed so I just need to adjust that um, and then when I turn pump back on I can adjust it back to where I want it yeah so it's looking in here there's not that much really Overflows there, so I'm just gonna tilt that up just so it'll allow pond to fill up a little bit more to where I want it. And then once pumps are back on, I can adjust that back down. This waste chute's ready for a clean, so I'll do that. Yeah, not much more left to go now at all. I think they'll be happy when summer comes. <laughs> get some meat into them, get some grub down them. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the time being guys. We'll I mean, let this pond finish filling back up. Um, get pumped and everything running again. And that's about it really. Not much more I can do for today. I'm gonna get me sent back in the house, get ready for footy. Um, and I'll catch you back in a bit. Welcome back guys. Tuesday evening, uh, got home from work today. Another little package waiting for me. Um, no doubt you'll probably be able to guess 
what it is if you've been following along. So we'll flip around and have a look. So in here we have a parcel from Finch Filtration. And it is of course our Blue Lab Guardian Monitor. Very well packaged. Quick delivery. So thanks to Andy for that. I'm not going to dive too much into um, how to install this. I'm not overly sure myself yet. I've not really had a look through destructions. Um, from what I gather though, from what I've been told by a couple of people, it's pretty much plug and play, um, aside from calibration. Um, like I say, I'm not going to go too much into um, installation of it because there's, there's other videos on YouTube um, that dive deep into that. A good one is Phil from Telford Koi Pond. He's got a good video on his channel about it. So if you want to know a lot about it, then go and check his channel out. Um, but yeah, um, obviously we've got a couple of, couple of calibration solutions in there. Um, that's his plug, I think. There's mounting, there's fixing screws. There's pH probe. Turn that bloody torch off. There we go. Um, and we've got the monitor itself, which is, I was expecting it to be um, a bit bigger, to be honest with you, but it's not. It's not really a massive unit. It's pretty, um, pretty small, really. Not overly, not overly big. Um, so I should be able to fit that somewhere nicely. So what I'm going to do now is get this mounted, have a read through, have a read through destructions, um, and get it in place. I'm not quite sure whereabouts I'm going to locate the probes yet. Um, now this, I want, I wanted this mainly so. I could have a constant readout on my water parameters like you know my pH and temperature but also my TDS. Pretty interested to see what my TDS is going to come in at really. So we'll have to see. So I'm going to have a look, see where we can mount this, um, have a read through destructions and get it in place I reckon. So I'll snap back with you in a bit guys. Right that's it guys, that's up and running now. Um, our gear's been ran, show you what we're at um, <laughs> and we'll go from there. So these are the regions what we're getting. Pretty abysmal on TDS. Pretty abysmal. What I'm gonna actually do, um, I've got me, I'll just show you where the wires are going. I've got them coming down there, just tacked along there, round back of here, and then they're just going into, into my water just down here. So see them down there. This is obviously the conductivity one. And then the uh, pH and uh, the pH ones there as well at the side of it. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is I've got a jug of fresh water straight from tap. And I'm just gonna test uh, what the TDS is of the fresh water straight out of tap. Um, so I'll do this while we're on. So I've got me fresh water. Take the notice of colour. That's been used for malachite green, but it is clean. Um, so I'll take this out of here. We'll drop that in there and see what reading we get for that straight out of tap. All right, so straight out of tap, fresh water. <laughs> Um, it's pretty much telling me <clears throat> that I need to do me water changes a bit more regular I think um, so remember when the probe was in in there TDS were at 550 and I've placed it in that jug of fresh water straight out of tap um, I'll flip camera around and I'll show you what it's out there, so jug of fresh water. And now it's TDS. Well, 
150. So Ward straight out of tap is actually pretty smart. Um, so yeah, that's on. That's telling me that's on me. I need to do more water changes. Um, just need to keep on top on them. Do them a bit. Do them more regularly. Um, maybe think about adding a trickle back in. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, that's gonna that's gonna come in handy for me. Um, giving me constant readouts so I'm not going to have to faff about keep getting my pH pen and that out and uh, things like that one thing it does say in destructions for this Guardian Lab it says that I think it says every 30 days it'll start flashing to say, you need, to say it needs recalibrating uh, so you need to give it some attention I suppose a bit like, bit like wife really <laughs> if after 30 days you, you're not paying any attention you know she might start flashing <laughs> say you know I need a bit of attention as well. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do then, I'll drop this back in here. So that can go back in there. <clears throat> Pretty remarkable that really. Um, not a bad TDS at all for straight out at straight out at tap. Um, yeah, not bad at all that. Who needs RO? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's definitely something I'm going to have to work on. That I'm going to have to do something about that. Regular water changes, um, or more often, should I say? Because I do do regular water changes, um, but obviously not regularly enough. <laughs> so I mean, I've got to get on top of that. I would like to say, think about adding um, a trickle back in, but well, I don't know. We'll see on that one. Um, we glance around here. Fish aren't up to much. Just fish being fish, I suppose. Especially in these temperatures. They haven't been fed for, for a bit, so the feeling. Um, even more sorry for themselves um, yeah not much else to report now guys um, I just wanted to share that bit with you um, share what you know getting that blue lab up and running share what um, what readings are we getting with it um, and I guess we'll have to address those issues from here on out um, so yeah, that's going to be it guys, um, I'll be back with you again when I've got another update on Summit, so see you in a bit guys.